there's an outbreak of Lassa fever in Nigeria. In 2020, there were 1,095 confirmed cases of Lassa fever across 129 local government areas in 27 states of the country. This put a toll on a health system already overwhelmed by the COVID-19 pandemic. In 2021, the number of Lassa fever cases reduced, but that number was still high. As it is said, one case of Lassa fever is an outbreak. 382 cases were confirmed across 60 local government areas and 14 states. One of those states was Bauchi State. Of the 65 suspected cases in the state, 10 tested positive for Lassa fever with two deaths recorded. Despite the frequency of Lassa fever outbreaks, many households were unaware of the disease, how it spreads, the symptoms to look out for, as well as how to prevent it. And when they started showing signs, they were unwilling to visit health facilities for tests and treatment. This is not unusual as the general health-seeking behavior of many Nigerians needs to improve. This is an important contributor to the spread of Lassa fever in these communities especially during the dry season when farmers prepare to farm and activities like bush burning increase the migration of rats from the bush in search of food. In a bid to move the response to Lassa fever from reactive to proactive, Breakthrough Action Nigeria, the United States Agency for International Development's flagship social behavior change project in Nigeria implemented by the Johns Hopkins Center for Communication Programs, planned a multi-channel and complementary set of social and behavior change interventions to support Bauchi State. Implemented through a phased training methodology, this approach focused on capacity building to prevent, detect, and respond to public health events. One of the things we have understood over the past few um, months of supporting the government of Nigeria is there's a huge emphasis on response. For Breakthrough Action Nigeria, um, our support is to really look at how can we promote more of preparedness and prevention. So the support in Bauchi is really around um, making community members to understand the signs and symptoms of Lassa fever and this will ultimately put, push people to report early. Breakthrough Action Nigeria's implementation approach involved different strategies that started with stakeholder engagement using a one health approach, which is a collaborative, multi sectoral, and transdisciplinary approach working at the local, regional, national, and global levels with the goal of achieving optimal health outcomes, recognizing the interconnection between the people, animals, plants and the shared environment. With this in mind, Breakthrough Action Nigeria leveraged communities it was already intervening in that were affected by the outbreak. In this case, Bauchi and Toro local government areas. Breakthrough Action Nigeria, in collaboration with the Nigeria Center for Disease Control and other state partners, then conducted a training of trainers targeting disease surveillance notification officers, health promotion officers, veterinary officers, environmental officers, local government area supervisors, and community engagement focal persons at the state and local government area levels. These trained participants went on to step down these learnings to community volunteers, town announcers, SBC advocacy call groups, and world development committees who in turn shared this information with members of their community. Because the Galopa Chinamaka training thing, um, when Jamie is stepping down, my CV is the Kuma buying stepping down, my CV is the Mukai. When Kumakira town announces the WDC is now co one award, and you must training. Kuma buying training, then acquire activities in the ski at community level. So, when I be, when I supervision, when I back check, when I supporting, look at the community action plan. Advocacy visit, supporting training
Breakthrough Action Nigeria interventions focused on one, community health dialogues and compound meetings where community volunteers facilitated community engagement sessions using a pictorial flip chart. Two, engagement with affinity and social groups where local government area supervisors reached out to social groups like SDC advocacy call groups, town announcers, patent and proprietary medicine vendors, hunters, bone setters, okada riders, heken apep operators, tailors, barbers, faith-based organizations, civil society organizations, and the likes in the local government area. The supervisors leveraged their regular meetings to engage them with a discussion guide focused on the similarity between different diseases that is Lassa fever, yellow fever, malaria, typhoid fever, and the need for prompt referral. Eh gaskiya mun halicci taro kuma gaskiya mun ji dadin taron nan sosai don mun samu wayewan kai gaskiya ga mai da wakannan cututtuka guda biyu yellow fever da lasa wanda kuma gaskiya zahirin gaskiya mun zo mun yi practicing din shi a nan shagon mu eh mun kuma wayar mu mutane kai wanda sun iya daidai ba tun ga gurin mu da mun wayar mutane da kai na farko lokacin da muke aiki muna magana aikin da muke ana ce ayi maganar da muke na abinan na folio suna ce kaza 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 to da aka zo maganar yellow fever a gaskiya magana muna samu mun samu gudunmowa 1200 bashin haka aka zo maganar lasa muna fadakar da mutane wallahi ina gaya miki tururu ake mu da muke ake mu da mu ake akin sai mun tsaya muna gaya da jama the intervention also used community drama and theatre where the local drama troupe performs scripts on Lassa fever in major markets and densely populated neighbourhoods in their local government areas, airing of radio spots developed by Retraction Nigeria and broadcast in six radio stations in Bauchi State with extensions into K2 State. Chutar za zabun Lassa, chutar che mi sanani, wadu wani nau impera da akapasamu ayankin Afrika te maki da ukeda ita. Live radio discussion programs leveraging existing relationships and memoranda of understanding with radio stations, the pool of state trainers and opinion leaders sharing messages on Lassa fever prevention. And finally, a social media campaign was disseminated through Breakthrough Action Nigeria social media pages to facilitate the dissemination of SPC materials such as radio spots, posters, fact sheets and other content on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram to spur conversation and trigger questions and online dialogues about Lassa fever. As a result of these interventions, one of the community volunteers identified key symptoms in a family in Toro local government area during his visit to the community. Wallahi ba mu sani ba tun da yake mun ga yanayin zazzabi ne ana fadance yanayin ta ana ganin kaman wai jire to a lokacin su ba wani halamar jiri a jikin su a zaman zazzabi muka bar shi. So when we heard about the outbreak we uh, called the state uh, local government DSNO and he referred them to uh, Bauchi for they take their uh, sample of and they get six positives. Although three family members died, four of them recovered, including Zuera, a young girl whose health was further complicated by the sickle cell disease. Zuera is still weak, but she is here, and her mother is thankful for that. One and the day, Munagani, Allah, and I can live Allah, Mazona, and Kana Woma, Mata Jinia. I come to Jinia to some life here as Aka Salomon. Families are now aware of what can predispose them to last fever, and they are actively working to keep the environment clean and safe. And like Zuera's family, more families are taking preventive measures to stop the spread of last fever. This has led to a subsequent increase in the number of identified cases, especially among vulnerable groups with underlying health issues. The One Health approach has thus far worked as it brings stakeholders in human health, agriculture, 
and environmental health to proactively and collaboratively prepare for, respond to infectious diseases, and prevent deaths. A key recommendation from this approach is to include more healthcare workers in the campaign against Lassa fever. My advice to, to the authority or those concerns will be since there are drugs to give people, the drugs will be, should be given to us in this facility, since we are the first contact of the clients. In addition, there needs to be an established communication channel between national and sub-national stakeholders. This will provide a more wholesome strategy to preventing Lassa fever and ensuring a healthier, more productive Nigeria.